Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. Today we're gonna to go over everything you need to know about how to use conveyor belts in Farming Simulator 19. If this is what you're looking for, please stay tuned. All right, folks, so we are gonna look at conveyor belts today. I have quite a few options that we're gonna look at. Um, the first portion of this video is basically going to be for PC players and console players. This stuff should apply to both of you. And then at the very end of the video, I'll go over a couple of things that apply to only PC players. And I'll let you guys know when I get to that point. So the first four things we're going to look at are just base game uh, conveyor belts. We have the pickup conveyor belt. We have this conveyor belt here. And then we have the transfer conveyor belt as well as this one right over here, the uh, palleting one. Um, so we take a look at these in the store. They're under go over here to belt systems. This one we have out. These are the four we're going to look at. These are available for all platforms. This one will only do sugar beets and potatoes. The rest of these will do all crop types. And then we're also going to take a look at this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy. So those are the other ones we're going to look at um, as well. And we may actually take a look at mobile production at the very end. We'll see how long this video ends up going, or I'll do a separate video on that. But uh, that's some of the stuff we're going to take a look at. So I'm not gonna teach you guys all the different possibilities on how you can use these. I'm gonna show you how they work, and then I need you to take that knowledge and apply it to whatever situation you have. You can use it to pick up silage out of a bunker. You can use it to pick up bulk crops off the ground. You can use it to do any number of things. You can use it to clean up animals automatically, all sorts of different things you can do. So a lot of these two you can get in them. If I go up and hit E, I can get in them and I can drive them. A little bit. I wouldn't recommend this for transporting them long distances as it doesn't work very well. Um, but uh, yeah, so what you do need, this conveyor belt here works fine as it is. You can dump stuff onto it or you should be able to dump stuff onto it um, from like a bucket or something like that. But if you wanted to pick up a pile of stuff on the ground, you'd need to hook it up to this guy right here. So this guy, we're going to actually hit X to fold it up. Well, unfold it, I guess I should say. And it actually works a little bit better. And right now to go forward, like I'm doing now, I'm actually hitting reverse. So it's actually the opposite. Um, I'm technically backing up right now and I'm able to turn a little bit better as opposed to if I have it folded down, um, turning is not good at all. You can see how clunky that is, but uh, yeah. So essentially for this, you're gonna get it close to this because you can see that kind of hitch in the top there. That is gonna hook up to this guy right here. Now you're not gonna have a hookup indicator here. So you're gonna hop out. I'm gonna go over to this conveyor belt, get in this one, and now you're gonna have a hookup there and they're gonna hook up. So um, there you go. We have these two connected now. So that one is a pickup to pick up off the ground and this one is to transport it. So this one, again, I can move all the way up. I'm using the mouse button. I probably should have the help screen on for you. So that's gonna go up and down, left mouse button, right mouse button, left and right is gonna extend that all the way out. So we can have that pretty far out there. Um, as far as, yeah, as far as that goes right there. So, um, yeah, pretty simple that way. Now, if I wanted to get this more on the ground, if I can hop back, or actually, I probably can't now that I'm hooked up. So let me disconnect that for a second, go back over to here. And then now that I'm here, I actually can raise and lower that hitch using the mouse button. So I'm actually going to lower it down to about there and see how that works. Hop back over here, hook it back up. Yep, that's much lower to the ground. It'll still pick stuff up just fine, but if you wanted to get that to adjust a little bit, you can adjust that aspect there. Um, so next things for, or <laughs> next things next, I'm gonna go ahead and put some stuff here and get it transferred over to this guy here. And again, this would also go into a silo or a bunker or a cell point, like it'll do any number of things um, if you want it to. So that's just something to note with that. But uh, I am going to, Pull this trailer under and just move it from the ground over here from another trailer into that trailer just to show you kind of the how how these guys work so we'll hop in here and i just have wheat in here i'm just going to back up to it here and i'm going to put a pile right here on the ground i'm going to hit left control i to unload here and it's just going to unload onto the ground i'm actually probably going to back up a little bit more Get that a little bit closer there. All right, perfect. I put 8,000 liters on the ground. I'm going to hop out of that. So 8,000 liters here, but it's not it's not doing anything. So what you need to do is you need to get into it and hit B to turn it on. And now you see that I'll turn both of those on and you see it transferring, transferring up the conveyor belt here. And once it gets to the top, it's going to go right into this trailer here. So there you go. We're actually transferring the wheat off the ground 
and into this one right here. Pretty self-explanatory. That's pretty much the most one of the most basic ways to use the conveyor belt system. But now we throw in this guy. This guy is a little bit different. Um, this, turned it around a little bit there. But uh, you can do different things with this to adjust it. Um, this is basically just an extension belt. Um, so you can extend things out a little bit. I don't really use these that much, but if I slide that down, get that all the way out there, and then I can turn that. So essentially what I'm doing, right mouse button, that's sliding. Oops, sorry. Let me go. Left mouse button up and down there is going to move. Jeez, I can't get these controls to work for the way I want them to. Okay, so left mouse button down, left and right is going to move that guy around like that. Up and down is going to move that up and down there. Right mouse button up and down um, is actually moving that up and down there. And then left and right is going to slide that up and down from there. And as you can see, actually, our other conveyor belt is completely done. It moved all that. And you see its, it's pickup range is a little bit larger. So... And I can drive this around as well if I want to. Um, this one's not too bad to drive around. But uh, yeah, so this is pretty pretty self-explanatory. This is the out portion, and this over here, this side, is the in portion. Um, so if I wanted to use this, I could use this as well. Uh, let me actually see. Is that as high as that goes? Yeah, that is. Okay, so let me move this guy over this way. And I will demonstrate using our current setup belt system. Um, how to use this guy as well. And basically using these different parts, you can kind of make whatever system you want, honestly. So I'm just going to pull this guy right about there will work. That should be fine. Um, we'll hop out. We're going to hop over into our other conveyor belt here. And I'm actually going to See if I can't get that to be just above that conveyor belt. If you see what I'm trying to do here, trying to get that to go onto there, that should be about right. I can actually lower it down so I can see it a little bit better where it's going to go. That should be just about right right there. So now we're going to go ahead and put some more wheat in this. And we're going to back up a little bit here. I'm going to dump more on the ground. And it might actually already start going. Yep, it's already going to start going because I had it turned on previously. So if it doesn't go right away, just turn it on again. Now if we go over to here, it is putting it onto this conveyor belt, and this conveyor belt is now moving it, so I didn't even have to turn this one on. And you can see down to this end here. Now if I get into here, I should be able to hit left control I, which is going to allow it to dump it on the ground. So now I'm moving it over there. Now I could obviously have 10 of these, or, or hundreds of these, and just have a just stream across the map and get grain going as far as I wanted to. So. Um, there's so many things you can do with these. This is just a couple of options, a couple of ways to use them, um, just to give you guys some ideas. So as you can see, it's going through. Now if I hit B, didn't do anything. <laughs> I think I have to go B to the, uh, or hit B to turn off the initial one there. But uh, yeah, so again, I, I've never really had a reason to use this because most of the way things have gone where I've needed to. Hop in there, that should turn that off. There we go. So yeah, those are how those ones work. This next one is a little bit different. So if I hop into this, um, I can hit B to enable pallet creation and B to disable it. So I'll show you what that means um, here in a second. Um, we are going to load this one because this one you can you could also load this with another conveyor belt too if you wanted to. Which actually, you know what? Let's set that up as well. And I will note too, one thing I did forget about this guy right here is if I hit X, I can unfold this. And that's going to allow me to do something along those lines there. So I can do that, and now I can oh, but actually just knock that out of the way a little bit. That's okay. Let me go back a little bit there. Um, if I get that extended out just a little bit, that should be right into there. Now I'm going to go ahead and put some sugar beets in here, or potatoes work. Yeah, potatoes will work just fine. And I'm going to hit left control I to dump them on the ground here. There we go, they're getting picked up. Now if we go over here, they are getting dumped into here. Slow but surely. This does have a percentage to load it down there at the bottom corner. You can see how much it can actually hold. Now this guy can be used um, just to move stuff across to another pallet. So you can use it to kind of move stuff up over and into another or not another pallet, excuse me, another conveyor belt. So then you can use it as part of your system. So that's one way to use that one. Or if you just hop in here, I can also put uh, potatoes in here. 
And I can just drive up to it like this. And I can dump them in just like that. So there you have it. There's that just right there. If I hop out, boom, potatoes are in there. Good to go. Everything I need to know right there. All right, so now if I hop in here and I do enable pallet creation, this is gonna put a pallet on the side and it's now gonna fill that pallet up with potatoes. Just like that. And it'll do that for sugar beets as well. So if you did wanna move pallets of potatoes around, you could do that. Um, but yeah, there you go. And then the moment I move this, which I'm actually gonna go ahead and turn on super strength to do here, it's gonna start making another one right there. And it's gonna hold a thousand liters of a material there, which I actually don't know if you can have it, uh, if you can steal the pallet before it ends up getting to use it. You're fast enough. I guess you can. So this one has zero liters in it right there, just like that. But yeah, you can do different things with that. You can use it to make pallets. You can use it to transport it. So if you had like a wheel loader, you could use the wheel loader to use this. I don't know why you'd use this other than pallet creation, because it's more efficient to use a pickup belt and stuff like that. But here are all the in-game basic options for your conveyor belt system. So I'm going to go ahead and get us set up to take a look at some other conveyor belts, and I'll bring you guys back in in just a minute. All right, folks, the next couple we're going to look at are in the store here. We'll go over to take a look at them real quick. Um, we're going to take a look. So we looked at these four. The next ones we're going to look at are these two here uh, and then this guy. So these ones I colored blue out here just to kind of distinguish them from the rest, and this one I colored brown out here just so I can kind of distinguish it. So these two are basically the same as those other than you can use them to buy stuff from a fill point. So if I hop into this one, I open up the help menu and I hit R. I'm now buying seeds. You can see my money going down. Now let's say I wanted to stop. I could just stop. And then whatever I bought worth the seeds is going to come out here. And it's going to end up in this tractor. There you go. About $26.50 in seeds. Um, now this next one actually we're not going to fit under so this one does the same thing I can hit R to start buying and I'm going to hit control I to unload onto the ground so I can buy it from a fill point And then I can just dump it onto the ground. I can hit R to stop and Once it dumps it all on the ground, it'll stop Just like that so that's basically all it is for these two here the next one we have is this guy over here. So this guy is a multi-fruit version of the one over there, except it's still as far as pallet creation goes. So if you hit enter there, disable or enable, it's only going to create pallets if it's potatoes or sugar beets. So I created the pallet of potatoes there. Um, otherwise, it'll just transport it to, if you put a conveyor belt on either side of this, um, it'll just transport the uh, product to the next conveyor belt for you if you want to do it that way. So yeah, that's everything with those. Um, all of these are still... For all platforms by the way and this next setup uh, we have as well is gonna be for all platforms so I'll get this set up and then we'll go over this one all right the final portion of this uh, setup here I have for you is this right here so this has a couple of different ones and I'm just gonna show you how each of these individually work and kind of I'm gonna give you one example of how they work and why you'd want to use this so this one right here just picks stuff up off the ground so I can get it over this trailer here for example and let's say I normally store my fertilizer in bulk on the ground so I can unload this here get that unloaded perfect we'll call that good then I can have this auger here I can pull up next to it with this trailer and I can hit B to turn this on get in this turn it on and then I can get into this guy and it's going to slowly grab some of that off the ground now with the help menu on here, I can go over to this guy, which I can overload. But if you see on the tip side up in the help menu, it says tip side grain door. So that's that little door on the sides. So you want it to select to that. So you just hit U to change that around. Um, I believe it will work with the tip side back, which we'll just go and try it, but it looks obviously better with tip side door. So, yep, it's working. It's putting it into that auger until that auger's full. So now that auger has stuff in it. Now there are a couple things you can do. Um, if I hit G to select the auger, I can unload it now onto the ground if I want to do that, but I don't want to do that. So if I hop out of here, let's say I have, I bring this setup out to the field where I have a fertilizer spreader that needs to be refilled. Now, obviously that can't get too high, so you're not going to get a lot of stuff under here. But if I pull up under this just right, there we go, and it's filling it up. So I can continue to put more in there. 
Now let me show you the grain door as well. There we go. So that looks much more normal. And that's going to continue to fill until the auger loads enough into that fertilizer spreader. And the auger is now full as well. So there you have it. That is one way to use all these. These are all available here. This guy and this guy are available for all platforms. Now there's another one to look at that's this guy back here. This one is only available for PC. Its main difference is, well, there's two main differences. As far as I can tell, that guy you can't adjust the height on. I wasn't able to do it at all. Um, well, let me just get in. I don't even think I can get into it here. I might be able to disconnect it and adjust it. But looking at it, I don't see uh, anything straight off that, adjust, that would adjust the height. It looked like it would adjust the height on there. But regardless of that, if we come over to this guy, this is only for PC players. So this is where it kind of switches to just PC players now. This will also pick stuff up off the ground. But if I hop in here, Holding down the left mouse button up, I can raise that up. Holding down the right mouse button, I can bring the pipe in or I can bring the pipe out. Just like that, all the way out to there. So this one gives you a lot more ability, I think, to do a lot more different things with it. But uh, And it also can pick stuff up off the ground. You can move it around like this. So we actually probably can bring it over here to test it out. But we can turn it on. And it's running. Yep, it's already picking up some of that fertilizer off the ground you can see there. So if I hop out of that, I should be able to oops, let's get into this tractor here. Should be able to pull under it. Actually, it's probably not going to be high enough. Go figure. Raise it up. Now hop in this tractor. And there we go. I'm in the uh, the auger wagon or the auger pipe here. And there we go. And that is going to wrap up the video. I'm going to go over the mobile production in a different video. So anyhow, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on your screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching.